Hi boys and girls, I'm Colin's mom, and this is our Colin's dog, Hoops. And we're going to read you a story today called, Hoops, you can help me read? The Boy Who Never Gave Up. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, and this story is about um, a basketball player named Steph Curry, who plays in the NBA, and he's one of Colin's favorite players. So this is the story of how he became a basketball superstar. After dinner one night, a boy sat down to do his homework. He just sat there, staring at the table, daydreaming. Mom, do you think I could play in the NBA like Dad? The boy's mother looked at him with a smile and said, Uh-oh, Hoops, you're leaving? You don't want to... Hoops doesn't want to stay for the story. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Um, if you practice enough, I think anything is possible. But for now, you need to finish your homework. When the boy finished his homework, he went outside and did what he always did. He played basketball. The boy played other sports too, but he loved basketball. Basketball was the only sport that really made him dream. Here's a close-up picture of him. The small boy dreamed of one day playing in the NBA. Starting at guard, number 30, Stephen Curry. Yay, oh, oh, Stephen yelled in his best crowd screaming voice. Here's a picture of Del Curry, his dad. The problem was Stephen was too small and too short. All the kids at school just knew that he was too little for the NBA, except for Stephen, of course. One day I'm gonna play in the NBA, just like my dad. Ha 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 ha, the other kids at school laughed. There is no way you'll play in the NBA like your dad. He is big and strong and you are small and weak. So here's a picture of him with his team. Despite his size, little Stefan kept playing. He became very skilled at dribbling and passing but because the hoop was so high and he was so short, it was difficult for Stefan to shoot the ball when he was guarded closely. He was only five, six tall, five feet, six inches tall and 125 pounds as a sophomore in high school. Because he was smaller, Stefan had to work harder and practice more. One day, Stefan's dad was watching him shoot baskets outside. He noticed how hard Stefan tried to always get better. Son, you have more hard determination than any other player I have seen. I know you are smaller than the other players, so I want to teach you something that will help. The other kids may be taller, but if you bring up your shot and learn to shoot faster, they won't be able to stop you. Stefan did what he always did. He practiced. It wasn't easy changing the way he shot but he kept working every day on what his dad had taught him. Although it wasn't work to Stefan because he loved basketball. When he practiced, he still dreamed of playing in the NBA. Starting at guard, number 30, Stefan Curry. The following year, all of his hard work showed on the court. His dad was right. The other players weren't able to stop him. Stefan led his high school team to three conference titles, earning himself several honors, including being voted one of the best players in the state. Stefan graduated from high school and was thinking about where he wanted to go to college. He had only wanted to go to one school, Virginia Tech, where his dad had played. Stefan knew he could play there too. All he needed was for them to give him a chance, but they didn't. Virginia Tech and many other schools didn't think Stefan could play on their teams. They thought he was just too small and not strong enough, except one coach at one small college. His name was Bob and he was the coach at Davidson College. Coach Bob saw that no one else could see. Wait until you see Stefan Curry is what he told everyone. So there is Coach Bob, the man who believed he could do it. Stephen Curry could not be stopped. He led his team past schools that were 10 times the size of Davidson College, all the way to the Elite Eight.
Coach Bob was right, wait until you see Stefan play. Stefan broke many records and won several awards. He even led the entire country in points scored per game. People who watched Stefan play in college started to see what Coach Bob could see. Many were beginning to believe what Stefan always believed about himself. But there were still many that said Stefan was too small to play in the NBA. They said he got lucky, that he wasn't strong enough, that he wasn't good enough. They just kept talking and talking. But Stefan didn't listen. He was too busy winning the NBA's Most Valuable Player Award twice, leading the league in scoring and steals, his team to NBA championships, and pretty much breaking every three-point record that ever existed. Stefan was told he was too short in high school, too weak for college, and not good enough to play in the NBA. He has proven that never giving up is more important than being the biggest, the tallest, or even the strongest. But most importantly, Stephen Curry has proven that dreams come true. So never give up. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I hope you guys got the lesson from the story, which is to never give up and don't let anyone tell you that you can't because if you believe you can, you can. Have a great day, guys. Bye.